Hello everyone, my name is Om Priya and I'm an educator of Unacademy. You can follow me on Unacademy website and you can also download Unacademy learning app. And friends, uh, let's talk about the lesson. So in this particular lesson, we will be dealing with the most important theorem, network theorem, that is Thevenin. So we will be dealing with the Thevenin theorem. So if you like the courses, then follow me on an Academy website, on an Academy learning app, and you can also download it. Apart from it, rate and review my courses. Thank you. So let me tell you something regarding the lecture pattern. So here our lecture pattern is this. This is very important lecture pattern as I already told you in previous lecture. If you want to gain a knowledge for a long memory duration, you must need this pattern. Yes, right. So how to follow this pattern? Let me tell you. First, we'll take a gate previous year question of two marks. Then we will do a related theory. So, in this particular lecture, the related theory is Thevenin theorem. And by the end of the lecture, we will do the solution of this particular gate question. So, in this way, this whole lecture pattern is very important from exam point of view as well as the revision purpose. Now, let's start. First, we have a question here. Read the question carefully. So, in the given figure, this figure is given. The Thevenin's equivalent pair, voltage and impedance, they are asking about the Thevenin equivalent pair, voltage and impedance. See, in impedance, we are having only the resistance. So, that is why uh, indirectly you have to find the RTH, Thevenin resistance and Thevenin voltage. As seen at the terminal P and Q. P and Q. So, here we need to find the VTH and RTH. So, this is our question. So, we are going to see what is the Thevenin theorem, how to apply, right? So, let's do some analysis on the structure of this particular circuit. Here, the resistance given of the 20 ohm, then 10 ohm resistance, 4 volt battery, 10 ohm resistance, and PUQ terminal, and here is an unknown network, let's take it as a load. See, what is the purpose of the Thevenin theorem? We apply the Thevenin theorem in order to know the current and voltage across any circuit element. So suppose uh, we need to find the current and voltage across the 10 ohm resistance. So here we can apply the Thevenin theorem at this particular terminal point. But we can also apply the KVL, KCL, MASH and nodal analysis too, right? But you need to remember we cannot apply the nodal and uh, Mesh analysis actually we can apply but it might be very complex if the circuit is very complicated then there will be so many nodal or you can say match equations right so in order to solving all those math equation it will become more complex so we are using a substitute and the substitute is a Thevenin theorem so by the help of Thevenin theorem we can easily able to find the voltage and current across any branch circuit element of any complicated network right so that is the reason we are using a Thevenin theorem let's start what is Thevenin theorem any linear bilateral network containing voltage and current source so this is a linear and bilateral network this network contains some voltage source some current source so it can be replaced by a single equivalent voltage source so whatever this bilateral network containing voltage and current source let us do a one thing just replace whole network with the help of equivalent voltage source vth in series with the one equivalent resistance across its terminal can you see this rth so this is how we perform or uh, this is how we convert any linear and bilateral network into Thevenin network. So this is our Thevenin network. These are PQ terminal and this is our load. So indirectly I am saying this circuit is linear and bilateral. So, I am converting this circuit into a VTH in series with RTH. 
can you see whole complicated network we are turning into a simple network with the use of Thevenin theorem. Now how to find this VTH? This is known as a Thevenin voltage. The equivalent VTH is a voltage obtained at a terminal P and Q of the network with the PQ open circuited. If you find a VTH you need to do just open circuit it. So this was our lecture circuit if you remember. This was our question. Now we are converting into a VTH. So I am opening this point. Open circuit it. PQ. This network is open right now in order to find a VTH. So whatever the voltage across these point or you can say whatever the voltage across tino that will be the voltage between p and q right and here we can easily able to find the vth so if you want to find a vth here you must need to know what is the voltage across the tino resistance so we will see how to actually find the vth so main purpose you should know that in order to find a vth across any terminal you must need to open circuit it. Then what about the Thevenin resistance? The equivalent resistance RTH is a resistance that a circuit between the terminal P and Q would have if all the voltage sources if any voltage sources are in the circuit here we have voltage source in the circuit are replaced by short circuit so this voltage source I'm short circuiting it and all the current sources if there's a current source so in our example there's no current source but if there's a current source is present that were replaced by a open circuited we have to open circuit it right so in order to find the RTH what I'm doing here across the PQ terminal I'm just short circuiting voltage source and open circuiting the current source and other elements remain as it is now you can easily able to find the RTH total equivalent resistance so we will see in the solution how to actually find it so here we have a solution for calculating RTH voltage source should be short circuited right now you want to find the RTH. Can you see that tan ohm and tan ohm are in parallel? Right? So you'll get here 5 ohm. Then applicable in series combination. Let me tell you regarding a voltage division rule. and you can easily able to solve this structure right so here it is applicable in series combination only just mark this point whenever you want to find the voltage division rule you want to apply it you need a series combination because in series voltage is divided right so suppose here we have a structure in which the voltage is divided into R1 and R2 so V1 and V2 can you see the voltage across R1 and voltage across R2 similarly here voltage this source voltage is divided into two V1 and V2 across L1 and L2 similarly across capacitor C1 and C2 now how to apply a voltage division rule let's see suppose I want to find the voltage across R1 so what I'll write I'll write here R1 in numerator divided by the total voltage our total resistances that is R1 plus R2 and multiply it with the this voltage source V similarly to find this V2 voltage across R2 first we'll write the R2 numerator divided with the total resistances and multiply it with the voltage source same process we will apply in case of inductor but case of a capacitor is quite different here 
if you want to find a v1 voltage across capacitor c1 then you must write a c2 first capacitor c2 and divide it with the total capacitor and multiply it with the voltage source similarly here to finding a v2 voltage across c2 you must write here c1 and divide it with the total capacitor and multiply it with the given voltage that is divided right so in this way you can easily able to apply the voltage division rule you must know how to divide whenever the one volt is divided into two three four five in series combination now you can easily able to find out suppose you want to find v1 you will first write the r1 then divide it with the total number of resistance and multiply it with the voltage which is divided right for cal calculating a vth here we are open circuited the voltage is terminal p and q now let's find for the vth let's apply the voltage division rule can you see th there's a four volt so this four voltage we want to know the what is the voltage across this 10 ohm so let's apply the voltage division rule first we will write the 10 ohm 10 divided with the total resistance 10 plus 10 and then multiply whole with this particular voltage 4 you will get 2 so our vth value is 2 volt so this is our equivalent structure vth is 2 rth is 5 ohm right So let's see our correct answer is VTH2 and RTH5 ohm. So friends, uh, this is a correct option. Option A, 2 volt VTH impedance is 5 ohm. Now here in this particular point, I am writing here RTH 10 ohm is parallel to 10 ohm. I hope you get this point because if you want to find a resistance there what happened this particular 10 ohm and this point so I hope you are not confusing with the structure right I hope you like this video and uh, I'll tell you this particular how to solve this RTH and this kind of structure Although it's very easy, I'm telling you the 10 ohm is parallel to 10 ohm and you will get the 5 ohm. So this is all about our today's lecture. And I think uh, many students are confusing with this 20 ohm, right? So I'll tell you uh, because we have a time sh shortage. So I'll tell you in some other lecture and you can also comment me. I'll tell you there, right? Thank you.